Hello, uh, today I'm going to walk through how to create a Google account using your work email address. Why is this important? Well, it's important for a couple of reasons. One, you want to make sure that you're separating your work and your personal and not using your personal Gmail account to log into Google things. Two, Gmail accounts are often hacked and so if you have your uh, work stuff tied to an anonymous or a shared Gmail account and that account is compromised, then all of your work stuff gets compromised. But if it's tied to your work email address, that is less likely to get hacked and um, any notifications will go into your, your work email so you'll know right away if something's uh, awry. So let's get started. If you are already logged into Google using a personal account or something else, you'll have your face up here. If that's true, you can click on that and click Add New Account. Otherwise, um, you're going to click Sign In. I'm just at Google.com. You're going to click Sign In. And then um, instead of clicking uh, entering information to sign in, just click this small create an account here. It really doesn't matter whether you select for personal use or for work or my business, but this is for business. So let's pick for work or my business. I'm going to fill in my information here. And then notice it defaults to at gmail.com, but we don't want to create a Gmail address. That's what we're trying to not do here for work. So instead, we're going to select use my current email address instead. So when I do that, um, I am prompted to enter my full email address. Um, and then enter a password. You're going to want to make sure that this is a secure password. I strongly recommend using a secure password generator, a random password generator, and a tool like LastPass, 1Password, or KeePass to keep your passwords unique and separate. Um, but uh, if you don't do that, make sure this is a nice long password. Google accounts can control keys to very important things. So once you've entered your password, you can hit next. It's going to send an email to that email address. When you receive that email, you can copy and paste that code. So that'll be your work email, right? So you go into your work email, you get that code and you paste it here and then hit next. It's gonna ask for a phone number. This phone number doesn't need to be unique to this Google account. So you can use the same cell number that you use on your personal account here. And that is just fine. It will send a, uh, unique code to that phone number. And now it asks you for um, uh, some birthday information. Uh, I believe this is still optional. So I'm going to hit next on here. Oh, it is not optional. OK, so you'll fill in some information for your birthday. and then um, hit next. By the way, that's not my real birthday. You can skip the offer here, agree to the privacy terms, and now you're in. Now, there's one more step I strongly suggest you do. If you've created this account for work, you wanna make sure that nobody else can get into this account. So let's go in and turn on two-factor authentication right away. So I'm going to go in again. I went under my name and click manage my Google account. I'm going to come over here under security. And for two step verification. I'm going to get started on turning this on. There are two ways we can do this. We can do this via um, a phone or you can do this through a Google Authenticator app. Either one is fine. The key is that nobody can access this account without without either your cell phone or uh, a Google Authenticator key. So we're just going to use, use a cell phone here. I'm going to enter the code that was just sent. OK, and now I can turn on two-step verification. 
and now I'm all set. So now nobody can log into this account without my work email and my cell phone number. That's it. I hope you found this video helpful.